everyone i am back with another crafting on a budget episode and this these are aliexpress items and um oh my gosh just 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 love them now if you like wooden stamps and you prefer wooden stamps over rubber stamps you know just the a photo poly uh, say it again photo polymer stamps um you know they have some really fantastic wooden stamps on um aliexpress and you know i very rarely see um wooden stamps on offer here in the uk um you know when i go to hobbycraft um you know especially the the kind of stamps i'm looking for like the vintage look at the moment they're really quite expensive. So, sorry, Hobbycraft, but, you know, you're talking three, four, five pounds a stamp. Um, so I found these on um, AliExpress. Now, without going through all of my um, purchases on AliExpress, I can tell you that these were all, um, these here were all pound thirty or under. Most of these were about 97 pence, something like that. Um, this set here, um, I just love it. Um, we'll come to it in a minute, but I think this was, um, I think this was about three pounds. I could be wrong, but I'll, um, I will have a look up and see how much this was and I'll put it in the description below, but it, it was a couple of pounds. It may have actually been less than three pounds because I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. Um, so let me just show you these stamps now if you are into the vintage look at the moment um these are really 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 good stamps to have let me get my ruler so i can tell you approximately how big these are um so let's push them to the side for a minute and we have these two script stamps and where is my wrong ruler so these are uh, just over two and a half by oh, uh, one and a quarter. And these are lovely script stamps with little mini postage marks on there. And it says, Dear Amy, I cannot read that. Something the beautiful that, uh, no, my eyesight is just too bad. I don't know if you can read it from there but it's like obviously a letter and it's got a couple of little postage marks on there great for doing background stamping on your uh, vintage tags um, or you could just make a little piece of ephemera from it and then this one again is um, a letter with little postage marks and that's the same size, but obviously the other way round. So they're nice, quite nice, um, you know, stamps. And I think when you're using, um, doing background stamps, you don't have to worry too much about the placement. So wooden stamps, I think, are great. And I love wooden stamps. You don't have to have a block and so much easier. Um, then we have these uh, floral ones. This one is two inches by one and a quarter and this is a a flower a postmark and it says oh it's in french nope i do not know what it says if you are french out there and you know what that says something voyage voyager i think but yes it's just very cute and then we have this one which is again a little bit of script a flower and a postmark but, you know, this way, buying these through AliExpress, it allows you to have more variety because you can get more for your money. Again, another little one with a flower, some script and a postmark. And that one is uh, one and a half by one. One and a half by one. I think they're both the same size, those two. And then these ones here, we have a clock, um, a little frame. And those ones are two by one and a quarter. And that's really cute. You know, you can actually stamp that and then cut that out and have little pieces of ephemera on your work. 
You can even do it on um, acetate and cut it out and have like a clear um, little frame. And then obviously you have your key, which is lovely and ornate. And I just like wooden stamps. I must admit I do like wooden stamps. And then you have this little um, window as well. And that's the same size. And that's really cute and ornate. And just you could stamp that, cut that out. Um, the typewriter, the old-fashioned typewriter. And that is um, two by one and three quarters approximately. As you can see, I, oh, I have used that one. I have used that one already. And see, I do use my things. It might look like I actually don't do any crafting. I just buy things, but I do use them. You know I do. And this is a little stopwatch. Stopwatch. Pocket watch. Stopwatch. Um, and this is one and just over one and a half by one and a bit. And then we have this lovely boarding pass to the USA. And actually, I think I could probably use this with my Tim Holtz ticket dies um, because it's got the perforated bit here. So I may be able to get this to fit on that. And this is boarding pass to the USA. And this is um, two and just over two and a quarter by one and just under one and a quarter. So that's quite a nice one to have. And then this, I love the set this comes in. I will find out the price of this, but this is such a cute little gift. I mean, look how adorable these stamps are. Just love them. Um, Just so cute. So it's a set of five stamps in a lovely cute tin, I must admit. Um, And this is a lovely little bird cage. And this is... Uh, one and a quarter by two. And then you have a lovely little floral piece. I think that's one by one, that one. And then again, a little mercy. Thank you. I do know that word. Probably one of the very few words I remember. And then we have like a little border stamp which is two by half, two by half an inch. Um, but just a lovely little set. I mean, I do, and I know that they have um, a couple of different varieties um, or, or different options <clears throat> for these sets. But I think that these make great little gifts for your crafting friends, even for your grandkids, you know. Um, just very, very cute. Love this one. I love them all. I love all my stamps. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I do have a basket um, for them, which is a bit mucky. I must admit, I don't know where it gets all that dust from. Um, so I'm trying to be organised and have these at hand when I do my crafting projects. So they are going in there. But just look... There's too much space in here. I'm going to have to get some more to fill them spaces up. <laughs> Look at that. There's too many gaps. I need more stamps. Chanel, you don't need more stamps. You're just being silly now. But I thought I would come along and share this with you um, because these are really, really um, cute stamps. And, you know, you don't even have to have this many to be able to, you know, just a couple of these stamps would give you quite a lot of variety. Um, you know, for the background of your book page pockets, your journal pages, etc. Even your card making projects. So that's um, my AliExpress um, crafting on a budget episode for today. See you all very soon. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.